Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial video. So today I'm going to show you how to stop sharing um, your photos across iOS devices. So I'm on my iPhone now and if you run into the problem of basically every photo you take on your iPhone showing up on every iPad you have or Mac, de whatever devices you may have set up via iCloud, I'm going to show you how to disable that and make sure that doesn't happen. So what you want to do is open up your iPhone or iOS device and go to the native settings app. It is the gear icon. Uh, if you want to see what it looks like, you can go here and I can just search for it. And you can see uh, the settings app there at the very top looks like a gear icon or a cog wheel. And then what you want to do is just scroll down once under settings and you want to find the photos option. So go here and it should be somewhere down in the middle and tap on photos. Once we are here on photos, the iCloud photos option is going to be enabled or over to the right or green right here where it says iCloud photos. It says automatically upload and safely store all your photos and videos in iCloud so you can browse, search and share from any of your devices, which means that you're going to see every photo you take on your phone on every iOS device that you have now and into the future until you disable this. So what you want to do is make sure you tap this to where it's over to the left. So if I tap it to try to enable it or turn it on, you can see that I actually would need more iCloud storage uh, because the, I, the iPhone I have now has like 100 gigabytes of photos and videos and I only had the smallest iCloud subscription. Uh, so you may run into that if you disable it and then try to re-enable it. So uh, just remember you want to tap that over to the left and then you can do something here down below that says my photo stream. If you want to upload the last 30 days of photos and videos across your devices, you can enable my photo stream by doing that here. And it's only going to show your most recent 30 days. And then after that on day 31 and beyond, it'll drop off. So only photos or videos or content within the last month will be shown. But if you don't want any of those across devices, you just uncheck that and you will no longer see photos across your iPads and different iOS devices that you may have. Now, if you have any questions about how to do this, please put that in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe uh, if this helped you out. And I will see you guys in the next video.